Alhamdulillah. Peace be upon you. How are you, my dear students? This is the second lecture about Unit 7 Health and Safety. In the previous video, we talked about the new vocabulary, keywords, some definitions. And in this video, we will talk about the next steps like reading. We have hygiene at home, seven do's and seven don'ts for healthy life. Let's talk about number one. Take your shoes off. The bottoms of your shoes can carry a lot of bacteria into your house. You should always take your shoes off at the door. Number two, no more dust. Dust quickly comes back again after you have cleaned. However, dust can make it difficult to breathe and it can cause skin problems. You should clean your house or flat as often as you can. Number three, wash the kitchen floor. Food and drinks can easily fall on the kitchen floor. You should clean your kitchen floor at least once a week. You should use warm, soupy water so you can remove all the bacteria. Change your bedding. This one will be number four. Change your bedding and you know what the meaning of bedding. Like I told you before. We spend a lot of our time asleep in bed. You should change your bedding at least once every two weeks. So bacteria can't live in it. Number five. The fifth step, it will be wash your hands after spending time with your pets. Research has shown that contact with pets early in life can protect you against allergies. But animals can also carry bacteria if you touch your pet. You shouldn't touch anything else until you have washed your hands number six stay clean in the garden you should wear gloves if you are going to touch soil in the garden because it can contain bacteria you should wash your hands when you have finished gardening too the seventh one, don't forget to keep your bands clean. And you know the meaning of bands? Litter bands, garbage bands. A lot of bacteria can grow in your bed. You shouldn't leave your bed open. I think all of these steps, my dear students, you have to use them nowadays because the epidemic of COVID-19 coronavirus so to protect yourself from this virus you have to follow these steps thank you we have some hygiene rules around the world like in the UK United Kingdom some hygiene rules around the, the world in the UK firstly in the UK United Kingdom you must put your food waste in a separate bin in Thailand some hygiene rules around Thailand or in Thailand you must take your shoes off before going into someone's house in the USA the third country here okay the USA the hygiene rules around the USA in the USA you should offer to help the clean up after dinner at a friend's house 
I think they they were very interesting. So we have to follow them well, like the UK, Thailand, the USA. Let's go to the second step. It will be language notes. We have some some language notes. We have to follow them, and we, I'll tell you some about them now. The first one is present. What's the meaning of present? You know, present equal inhale, equal take air in, take air in. هي بالعربي كده يستنشق. Plants breathing carbon dioxide. It's for example, yeah, about inhale or take air in or breathe in. Type. We have breathe out equal exhale, exhale equal take air out. بالعربي برضو كده معناها يزفر اللي هو الزفير يعني. We have an example about it. Plants. Breathe out oxygen. Number three is press. Nafas nafs. Press. I can smell alcohol on your press. It's for example. Number four, pressing. Pressing. People die if their press or pressing stops. Wardu manah in nafas. Another language notes between base, basis, rule. Base, what about base? What's the meaning of base in Arabic? In Arabic, it's asas or qada la lima fawqa. We have an example here. The statue was attached to a concrete base. What about basis? Assess or قاعدة تطور من هالشيء, and you know it's a spelling. Okay, I sent you this notebook. Okay, on WhatsApp, on WhatsApp, and I sent it to my groups. So why you are listening to me? Okay, and to my description, you have to look at your notebook, Unit Seven. You have basis. I sense our قادة تطور من هالشيء. Philosophy was the basis for many other sciences. Okay. Number three, rule. Rule, قادة أو قانون. We have an example here. All pupils have to follow the rules of a school. Okay. ندخل على حاجة تانية. Differences between safe and secure. Safe. What about safe? Amen. For example, do you think it's safe to keep money here? What about secure? Mu'amman or mu'amman? Have another example about secure? No, this is this this example is the only one we have about secure. I'm sorry. Look the house and make sure all windows are secure. Type about license and license. License was C and license was S. License was C, you rakhis aw rukhsa. But license was S is you rakhis aw yasmah lishi. To allow something. License was C, and he ya rakhis aw rukhsa. A shop must get a license to be able to sell tobacco. But license was as Yurakhis Aw Yasma. The traffic police license licensed the car after many trials. And you know the meaning of this one. If you don't know the meaning, you can ask me. Okay? With a message. Through my channel on the YouTube one. Now we have differences between address, title, and headline. What about address? 
أدرس عنوان سكن عنوان بريد إلكتروني بل تايتل عنوان مقال هيدلاين عنوان في جريدة أدرس We have two examples I couldn't visit him because I didn't have his address Another example Leave your email address and we will contact you Title and one مقال Hamlet is the title of one of Shakespeare's most popular plays Type headline and one figurita For example I usually have a look at the main headlines of a paper Okay, we have agree and accept Agree to plus infinitive or noun يعني بيجي بعدها يا اما infinitive verb the verb in the infinitive form يعني الفعل في المصدر لما بيجي بعدها noun معناها يوافق Okay, let's use them uh, or sorry let's use it in an example He agreed to sign the papers Another example He agreed to our plan Okay, the first example Plus verb, infinitive, sign The second example, plus what? Plus noun طيب يتفق مع Agree with With someone For example I'm afraid I don't agree with you I don't agree with you Type agree on something مجموعة تتفق على شيء We agreed on a price for the car We agreed on a price for the car On a price, a price is something, yes Okay, we have agree that After agree that, you have to use a sentence And you know that we should write a full sentence after that Especially that You have agreed that يتفق ويأتي بعدها جملة كاملة It was agreed that he was the thief That he was the thief The last one here is Accept Accept يقبل دعوة يقبل اعتذار يقبل تعازي يقبل رشوة طيب Accept invitation دعوة Accept apology, اعتذار. Accept condolences, تعازي. Accept bribes, رشوي. For example, he didn't accept her apology. طيب. نروح ل wet, moist, damp, humid. كلمة wet معناها مبلل مغطى بالماء أو بأي سائل آخر. Okay for example I have just washed my hair and it's still wet. طيب ندخل على moist moist رطب أو مبلل قليلا ودي صفة إيجابية تستخدم عند الحديث عن رطوبة مرغوب فيها. Okay And we like this مثلا a moist مثلا For example, these plants do best in fertile Moist soil So the soil here is fertile and moist يعني هنا في رطوبة يعني مستحبة يعني في الأرض دي الأرض رطبة رطوبة مستحبة لو قلنا damp معناها رطب أو مبلل قليلا ودي صفة سلبية تستخدم عند الحديث عن رطوبة غير مرغوب فيها damp For example, the grass was still too damp to sit on. يعني لسه ال grass مبللة بلل شديد جدا وده ودي حاجة غير مستحبة بتدي صفة سلبية لدرجة إحنا مش قادرين نقعد عليها. Okay, طيب. تكلمنا عن humid. Humid ودي رطب متع ودي متعلقة بالجو يعني الجو فيه رطوبة نسبة بخار الماء في الهواء التي تجعلك تشعر بعدم الراحة. For example, summer in Tokyo is hot and humid. Is hot and 
هي ميت اوكي ندخل على وانس بقى في وانس في وقت ما في الماضي او ذات مره وانس بيبل وير هانترز هانترز ذا فود كيم فروم انيمالز طيب في وقت ما اوكي طيب لو وانس بقى بمعنى بمجرد ان once I get the news I'll phone you بمجرد ان انا اعرف الاخبار هكلمك في كمان وانس مره واحده she visits her grandparents once every six months تمام تالي الموضوع ما فيهوش اي صعوبه والكلام بتاعنا about the language notes is very easy and simple في بقى what are the differences between between damage and damages damage بمعنى ضرر او تلف او خساره put it in an example the earthquake caused widespread damage طيب damages بمعنى تعويض مالي او عطل وضرر put it In an example, the man was awarded 50,000 sterling in damages over false allegations made by the newspaper. Okay, let's go to cause or reason. What about cause and reason? Cause, you said, Bib. أول what caused the fire طيب لو قلنا cause of بيجي بعدها noun على طول معناها سبب what was the cause of the fire طيب reason with بقى reason with يعني يحاول اقناع او يتجادل مع I reasoned with him four hours With him four hours, but I couldn't make him change his mind. I reason out. بمعنى يستنتج منطقيا أو يقنع بالمنطق. Reason it out for yourself. Okay. ندخل على reason for. يجي بعدها على طول now. معناها داعٍ أو مبرر أو سبب. داعٍ أو مبرر أو سبب سوري طيب for example can you give the reason for leaving طب لو استخدمنا بقى the reason why هنلاقي بيجي بعدها جملة كاملة is there a reason why you can't come is there a reason why you can't come okay 